the Honorable Kawera Mwangaza, Governor of Meru, Meru County, please take the stand. Honorable Kawera Mwangaza, the Governor of Meru County, the charges against you as received from the County Assembly of Meru are as follows, and I quote, charge one, misappropriation and misuse of county resources. The governor has grossly violated, among others, articles 10, 73, 201, 226, clause 5, 227, and 232 of the Constitution, sections 8, 12, 13, 1, 16, 17, and 35 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012, that is the Integrity Act, sections 55 and 66 of the Public Procurement and Asset Disposal Act 2015, that is the Procurement Act, and sections 45, subsection 2, and 46 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act, that is the Anti-Corruption Act, by engagement, connivance, and or complicity in the following. A, the embezzlement of county funds through the governor's sisters, that is Rose Kenya Guantai and Miriam Guantai, brother, that is Kenneth Guantai Murangiri, brother-in-law, that is Nefat Kinywa, and the nephew to the governor's husband, that is Edwin Mutuma Murangiri, all of whom are from now on collectively referred to as the governor's relatives. B, the withdrawal of county funds under the guise of payment for various supplies by the governor's relatives, yet they, that is the governor's relatives, are ineligible to tender for or supply any goods or services to the county government. C, paying full salary and benefits for more than a year to Dr. Ntoiti, that is CEO of County Revenue Board, Paul Mwaki, that is CEO of Lika Board, Peter Kimathi Mbae, CEO of Meru Microfinance, and Joseph Kithure Mberia, CEO of MEWAS, while knowing that those officers were not rendering any services to the county. And D, the diversion and misuse of county resources, including funds and motor vehicles, to run the governor's private charity, dubbed Okolea, despite a previous promise to the Senate in the previous impeachment proceedings to refrain from conflating official county operations and Okolea operations. Charge number two, nepotism and related unethical practices. The particulars of this charge are as follows. The governor has grossly violated, among others, one, articles 10, 232, 235 and 236 of the Constitution, 2, sections 12, 17 and 24 of the Public Officer Ethics Act 2003, 3, sections 13.1b and F, section 16 and 24 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012, and 4, sections 55, 59, 59a, 60, 62, 63, 64, and 65 of the County Governments Act 2012. That is the County Governments Act by engagement, connivance, and or complicity in the following. A, fraudulently misrepresenting the governor's relatives as a technical team for purposes of travel to China to inspect and certify cancer treatment equipment while knowing that the governor's relatives are not medical professionals. B, employing Edwin Mutuma Morangiri, who is a nephew to the governor's husband, as the CEO of Meru Youth Service, MYS, and the acting chief officer of the Department of Finance. C, the designation of Nefat Kinywa, who is the governor's brother-in-law, as the director of external linkages without transparent and competitive recruitment and D, assigning diplomatic duties, namely engagements with foreign diplomats and, dig and dignitaries 
to her unqualified sisters, namely Miriam Guantai, PA, and Ross Guantai, bodyguard. Charge number three, bullying, vilification, and demeaning other leaders. The particulars of this charge are as follows. The governor has grossly violated, among others, one, articles 10, 19, 2, 28, 73, 75, and 179 of the Constitution, two, sections 9b, 19, and 24 of the Public Officer Ethics Act, three, sections 29 and 34 of the Leadership and Integrity Act, and four, sections 30, subsection 2 and 3c and d of the County Governments Act, by engagement, connivance, and or complicity in, among others, the following. A, exclusion of the Deputy Governor from County Executive Committee meetings and other official functions. B, bullying, undermining, and posting insulting and demeaning messages about the Deputy Governor in a WhatsApp group styled Third Government 012 whose membership includes several officers who are subordinate to the Deputy Governor. C, encouraging and condoning insubordination and the making of insulting and demeaning public utterances by, by subordinate staff against the Deputy Governor and other elected leaders. D, bullying, undermining, and posting insulting and demeaning messages about the Deputy Governor in a WhatsApp group styled County Admin Services whose membership includes several officers who are subordinate to the Deputy Governor. E, encouraging and condoning the removal of the Deputy Governor by junior officers from official county WhatsApp communication forums. F, arbitrary suspension, dismissal, withdrawal, and frustration of the staff of the Deputy Governor. G, illegally, irregularly, and fraudulently hounding the Deputy Governor's staff out of office by purporting to accept their non-existent resignations. H, arbitrary reduction, suspension, and withdrawal of budgetary facilitation for legitimate operations of the office of the Deputy Governor. I, threatening to inflict bodily harm against the Deputy Governor orally and in WhatsApp, group, in WhatsApp chats. J, forceful breaking, entry, and ransacking of the, governor's, of the Deputy Governor's office. K, changing the locks of the Deputy Governor's office. L, arbitrary relocation of the Deputy Governor's office. M, arbitrary withdrawal of security from the Deputy Governor's residences. N, persistently making demeaning public utterances against other elected leaders, despite the same issue featuring prominently in previous impeachment proceedings, or making insightful, insulting, and demeaning remarks against other leaders by falsely accusing them of cartelism at a presidential thanksgiving service held in Lare, despite this issue arising in previous impeachment proceedings, and P, encouraging, conniving, and condoning her husband's insulting and demeaning public utterances and musical performances against other elected leaders despite this issue featuring in previous impeachment proceedings. Charge number four, illegal appointments and usurpation of statutory powers. The particulars of this charge are as follows. The, the governor has grossly violated, among others, one, articles 10, 41, 201, 232, 235, and 236 of the Constitution, two, Section 17 of the Public Officer Ethics Act, three, sections 45, 55, 59, 59A, 60, 62, 63, 64, and 65 of the County Governments Act, four, section four of the Public Appointments, bracket County Assemblies Approval Act 2017, five, section 34, subsection three of the Public Service Commission Act 2017, 6, Section 9, Subsection 2 of the Meru County Revenue Board Act 2014, 7, Section 4, Subsection 2 of the Meru County Alcoholic Drinks Control Act 2014, 8, 
Section 11, subsection 2 of the Meru County Microfinance Corporation Act 2014, and 9, section 18, subsection 2 of the Meru County Water and San Sanitation Services Act 2014, by engagement, connivance, and or complicity in, among others, the following. A, appointing Kenneth Mwiti Ryungu as a chief officer without county assembly approval. B, sending Dr. Ntoiti, CEO of County Revenue Board. Paul Mwaki, who is the CEO of Lika Board. Kenneth Kimathi Mbae, the managing director of Meru Microfinance Corporation and Joseph Kithure Mberia, the CEO of MEWAS, on indefinite compulsory leave without full salary, sorry, with full salary and benefits in the usurpation of the powers of the, appo uh, the appointing authorities under the relevant Meru County laws. C, deploying other persons in breach of a court order to perform the functions of the persons alluded to in subparagraph C above. D, appointing unqualified persons, namely Edwin Mutuma Morangiri, Kenneth Mwiti Ryungu, and Gitobu Nkanata as acting chief officers without the requisite competitive recruitment and recommendation of the County Public Service Board. E, disregarding the criteria for the establishment of offices within the County Public Service by recruiting traffic marshals without the involvement of the County Public Service Board. F, usurping the powers of the County Public Service Board by creating offices of the traffic marshals, which is the sole preserve of the County Public Service Board. G, employing a bloated workforce, more than 100 personal staff in the office of the governor. H, irregularly designating and paying various cleaners as senior support staff while having 16 support staff. And I, appointing the following persons to hold county offices in an acting capacity for more than six months. One, Monica Kaguima, Chief Officer Youth. Two, Koome Muthuri, Director Health Services. Three, Francis Mungai, CEO County Revenue Board. And four, Silas Mbaabu Muguna, CEO Lika Board. Charge number five, contempt of court. The particulars of this charge are as follows. The governor has grossly violated, among others, articles 10 and 73 of the Constitution, 2, section 7 of the Leadership and Integrity Act, and 3, section 10 of the Public Officer Ethics Act, by connivance and or complicity in a contumacious, stubborn refusal to obey lawful court orders. Six. Charge six, this is charge number six, illegally naming a public road after her husband. The particulars of this charge are as follows. The governor has grossly violated, among others, one, articles 10 and 73 of the Constitution, two, section 7 and 11, subsection 1C of the Meru Honors and Awards Act 2018, by naming a public road after her husband without following the applicable statutory procedures. Charge number seven, contempt of the assembly. The particulars of this charge are as follows. The governor has grossly violated, among others, one, articles 10, 174, paragraph I, 185, clause 3, and 195 of the Constitution, section 39 of the County Governments Act 2012, and three, Sections 18, 22, and 27 of the County Assembly's Powers and Privileges Act 2017 by engagement, connivance, and or complicity in the following. A, refusal to honor lawful summons to appear before the Assembly's Sectoral Committee on Justice, Legal Affairs, and Cohesion to answer questions on the matters raised in the preceding parts of this impeachment motion, and B, directing her chief of staff and accomplice and lackey in malfeasance to write a contemptuous letter to the assembly in response to lawful summons to appear before the assembly's sectoral committee on justice, legal affairs, and cohesion, and C, in the refusal by her CECM finance and county secretary 
to furnish documents to the assembly on the flavorous grounds that one, an inchoate audit process was underway, and two, the matters raised by the assembly were subjects, the latter frivolous ground being also disingenuous and contrived when viewed against the fact that the governor has already been convicted of contempt of court. The Honorable Kawera Mwangaza, how do you plead to the seven charges, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Thank you. You may proceed to take your 